Reducing flash floods using optimal drainage pipe sizes, location, and elevation. Recently, heavy rains in Bay Area, California caused significant flooding, road closures, power outages, and passengers got stranded whose cars were submerged in standstill water. If an area of a road is at a lower elevation than its surroundings, and if the city's drainage system has not installed sufficient drain pipes of the optimal drain sizes, then the rate at which the water can accumulate can increase rapidly. The City of Sunnyvale provides the drain map of the entire city, showing the locations where the drains are installed, the direction of the water flow, and the size of the drain pipes. My project combines three things, elevation data of a terrain, city drainage system, and the size of the drain pipes. First, I have written a Java program to obtain the elevation of various points in the city using Google's Elevation API. This elevation data is collected using the latitude and longitude matrix of the city. Then, using the drainage map of the city, I mapped a matrix of the installed drain openings. I superimposed these two matrices and created a third matrix which has drain pipe information for only the drain openings that are low in elevation. These are the drain openings that become significant during a storm. Then, using the graph theory, I created a flow network, which is a directed graph where each edge is the capacity of the pipe and each node represents a drain opening. Using the pipe network analysis, I simulated heavy rain situations where a certain node becomes heavily flooded and identified the nodes where either more pipes are needed or the size of the existing pipes needs to be increased to drain enough water. I hope the cities would use my tool to fix the specific drain areas before the next storm arrives.